like you know you know what i like i love about photography is that like when you take the pictures and then when you look back and then you just like remember like the day and everything yeah. and then when you print them out it's even even much better when you print them out yeah and then when you put them side by side and like in a collection or whatever like on a wall or whatever and you just and you just look at them and you're like damn wow you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's so true uh Actually, I had the same experience once because when I, I think I've been shooting film for mm-hmm. less than two years. And mm-hmm. for when I was shooting back, when I was start, just starting maybe during the first year, um, when I saw the photos then during that time, I really thought that, oh man, these photos are really ugly. Like, they're not ah, that nice. Yeah. But then yeah, yeah. two years after looking backward, like, oh, they, they were not so bad at school. Like, yeah yeah it's so really some, sometimes yeah sometimes the one that you thought were trash or whatever they, they like they grow on you like yeah, you look back so at them and then you're like wow you know this is actually good you know yeah, yeah. yeah man. if uh i've browsed your instagram and i really saw that your photos are really interesting um what's your um inspiration or do you have any photographers that you try to emulate or you look up to because one thing i like about your instagram feed is that i feel it brings you back to the 90s magazine type of photos yeah 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 uh that that's that's the kind of vibe that 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 i like go for i don't know like everything from from that era it, it they just always look so cool like they're like these instagram like pages or whatever and they would like collect these pictures of like 90s models and, and stuff like that and I always say like if I want to take pictures I want them to look like that yeah. you get me because they have just this like this whole nostalgic vibe you get, you get me you know it, I, I don't know about it. it just feels just so dreamy or whatever it just looks like almost like a painting or something whereas like if you use like a digital camera or like an iPhone it just looks like just a picture you get me? But yeah. like the photographers that I look up to is like William Eggleston because like I don't really have that much friends or whatever because I've kind of been like an uh, outcast for the most of my life and I don't really know that many people. So I end up having to shoot like mundane stuff like light posts or like dogs running around or yeah. stuff like that. And, and and I think that's good because it keeps your mind sharp and it keeps it versatile because you never know. You might end up with like a, a nice collection of photos. Look at that woman called like, uh, what's, what's her name? Vivian Nair. And she was like this nanny or whatever. And she took like a, a whole bunch of photos while she was being a nanny in Brooklyn or New York or whatever. I mean, like when she died or whatever, somebody found her photos and they're like worth like a lot of money now. Yeah. You get me? So yeah. like... That's why I just take photos of whatever because you never know how valuable they might be because of that guy, William Eggleston. And there's another photographer that is dead, but he was a Jamaican photographer out here and he did like a lot of photography of basically like what I'm doing. Like he had that raw feel of it, but like he, was, he wasn't shooting film. But, but his work just, just seemed very raw and just like, you know, you can feel like the pain or like the joy or whatever in the, in the image that he's um creating you get me so that's like true. those are like pretty much the main two and then everything else that i see I, I just get inspired by it and say you know that that gives me an idea and then that's it but i don't really like look up to any other photographer than those two yeah 